Hi, Brad from WPSites.net Solutions for WordPress. This video I'll show you how to create and enable multi site for WordPress, which is already built into the WordPress core files. Um, this way, you can create a network of unlimited WordPress sites, uh, very similar to what WordPress.com do, and they use uh, subdomains. Uh, as, as an extension of their own domain. So if you're wanting to use it for that purpose, uh, multi-site is excellent. If you're wanting to use it for another purpose, make sure you, uh, you, you do your homework first because in a lot of cases you may not need to enable multi-site. Anyway, the first thing to do is uh, back up the files that we're going to edit. We're going to edit the wp-config file and also the ht access file. So log into FTP or cPanel and back up both of those uh, files on, your, uh, on the WordPress installation which you want to convert to multi-site. Uh, disable any plugins. Make sure Apache rewrite models are uh, enabled on your server and the Apache server which is normally the case using a good WordPress host. And also uh, make sure your host allows the creation of subdomains, and most good WordPress hosts do. So, uh, first thing you have to do is enable multi site, and that'll create a tab uh, network setup um, under your tools. So, if we take a look at uh, the back end of WordPress now, we'll see under tools we've just got available tools import, export. When we uh, edit the WP config file and add some code or we'll create a network, uh, network link there. So uh, the code that we need to add to the WP config file is here on my latest blog post and I'll link this blog post to the, the link will be below the video that you're watching now by the time I publish this. So we'll add this, I'll, I'll, I'll use cPanel to do this, but you can use FTP. I've already backed up the files, uh, the WP config and the HT access file. And here's the HT access here, here's the WP config, and I've created a, a backup on the desktop of these two files. So I'll click on code edit. And we're looking for line 83 in the WP config file. So we'll scroll down here, line 83, that's all, stop editing, happy blogging. We just paste this in just above it, and this will enable multi-site. So we'll save the changes, click close, and just reload this. And here, we should get another link here. So we'll just refresh this. Wait for this to load. Uh, it's on a shared server, so it's a bit slow. Okay, now this is what you'll get here under tools. You'll get a net network setup. Just be careful when you're copying and pasting uh, into a into a PHP file. Sometimes you can add some characters on the end, which it, which was the case when I did it just before. Normally, it's not the case, but sometimes it does. So if you don't get the uh, the network set up link here, maybe you want to go back into your WP config file and just to check to make sure that the uh, the exact line of code has been added correctly. Alright, we'll change that now. We'll close that down. Now, we've got network set up, so we have to set up the network, and this will change the whole back end of, of your WordPress. You've got two choices when creating a network. You can use subdomains or subdirectories. If you look at WordPress.com, they use subdomains. Uh, if you do that, you'll have to create a wildcard DNS record. So I, I won't show you how to do that today, but um, you, you'll have to contact your hosting manager or your domain manager and create that if you're wanting to use subdomains for your network. I'll just show you how to use subdirectories. Um, and basically, you just select subdirectories. Uh, the title of your network and, uh, and an email address there. So we'll just install. <coughs> now there's three steps here. The first step is we have to create a blogs directory 
and uh, this is for all the different media uploads for your, your network users so we have to create this uh, and the location will be in the WP content folder so we'll go into the WP content folder and we'll create a new folder called blogs.dir for directory so here we are, here create a new folder Here we go here, so that's done, and that'll be used to store your media uploads. So that's step one. Uh, step two is we need to add this code here, which you'll get in the back end of WordPress. Uh, we need to add this to the WP config file. So we'll go back into the WP config file, and above that line, we need to add this code. So let's go back here to WP config. Here it is here. Code edit. Edit. Okay, that's all stop editing. So what we need to do is paste right over the top here. We'll take all that code. Now we'll just save this. Save the changes. We'll just refresh this and go back in and make sure it was pasted properly because really we should download this file to the desktop and then we should use Notepad++ to edit it um, rather than just edit it in C panel. But I'm just doing this because it's quicker. So let's just have a look in here. We'll go into Code Edit and make sure that's. Uh, it's, that code's been pasted in the correct way. So that looks alright. That looks like it's been done properly. So we'll close this. Uh, the third step is we have to edit the HT access file. So make sure you've, you've downloaded a copy of the, uh, these two files to your desktop just in case you make a mistake. So we'll go into the HT access file. Here it is here. We'll click code edit. Now you have to be very careful where you paste this code. Okay. We're not going to take out the whole lot and just paste it over the top. What we're going to do is we're going to paste it where it says rewrite and then the bottom part the rewrite rule. Okay, so it's here. This is this is where we paste it. We don't take out these first two lines or these lines here. So we paste that over the top. Okay, so that looks fine. Save the changes. Close that file. So that's done. We've, we've completed the three steps. And uh, generally, you've got these all these options under settings. When we refresh, all this should be gone. So now you're just going to have users. And uh, the plugins that you install and the themes that you install in the main. Uh, the main network here, they'll be used on all the sites that are added to the network via a subdirectory or a, or a subdomain depending on what you've chosen. So you'll see a, you'll see a big change in the back end now. And I've written an entire blog post if you need any more details, you'll find a link below this video. So here we are here, we've completed all these steps. And this is what it'll look like in the back end of WordPress now. You're going to have sites, you're going to have users, you'll still have themes and plugins, 
and these will be for the entire network. So when you update or change these, it will change on the entire network. And under settings, you've just, just got network settings now, network setup. So here we go, this is, this is what it's converted into now. You can see we've got sites, and you can add your new sites here. Or you can enable a link on the on the f on the front end of your site, and you can uh, you can basically build your own WordPress.com network, where people can create their own sites using a username. You can also use additional plugins, which will allow your users to use their own domain name on the, on the on the site, even though you're providing the hosting. They can use a unique d domain name, very similar to what WordPress.com does. And, and you can charge a fee for that if that's what you want to do. Here with the network settings, you can you can basically set it up the way you wish, and uh, and control the new sites that are added to the network. And this gives you all the different options: uh, the registration notification. Uh, there's an automatic email sent out when they register. Uh, new site settings, the welcome emails here. You, you, can, you can configure what uh, what, what uh, text, what content you want on the default network site when, you're, when a new site's created by a new user. So you've got all your different settings here. You determine uh, the maximum file upload for, for media files for your. The, the new users on the, on the network there, so uh, so it's pretty basic to set up. Once you've set it up, it's it, it's very straightforward. Uh, you'll find more information I've written the entire blog post, and I will be writing more about this um, on how to use uh, a unique domain name for uh, for your new users and also other features that you can use with, uh, with WordPress multi-site. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Cheers and good luck.